This one who came to my house today, I hope all is well. Oh, sorry, let me get something for you. No, 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 brother. Don't bother yourself. I'm okay. I don't want to take anything. Are you sure? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You're not looking bright. I hope all is well. Brother, I need your help. I need your help, brother. You know, since my husband lost his job, things have been very difficult for us. But the one that is giving me sleepless nights is my children's school fees. Please. How much is their school fees? 20,000 naira will do everything. Say no more. I'll be with you in a minute. Okay. Okay, brother. Okay, brother. Thank you, brother. Thank you very much. Thank you, Buddha. Hey. Evelyn? Darling? Yes? How are you? I can say I'm good. <laughs> My sister Uchech is around. I would like you to go and see her. Just say hi to her. Really? Yeah. Ah, okay, that Are you serious? I'm one more. Am I am I her mate? I should go and look for her and greet her. When she came to my house, she didn't deem it right to go look for me and greet me. Anyway, that's not my problem. I had everything you two discussed. And I ask you. What is wrong with you? How? Is it because you have small head? Your brain has shrunk? Or is it old age? Madam, are you alright? So you now run a charity organization? Eh? My sister just came asking for 20,000 naira for her children's school fees. That's all. That's all? Yes, and you and I know that we can afford it. It's nothing. If we can afford it, can she afford it? If that 20,000 naira is nothing, so it's nothing to her, why did she come here to look for it? She should have had it grown at her backyard. Or better still, as she was coming, she would not see it growing in front of her, piam, piam, piam. No, effortlessly, she would be picking them one, two, three, until it's 20,000. We don't need to come in here. Rubbish. Go tell her that you're retired. Your salary doesn't come like that again. You're a pensioner. I know what pension is all about. Wait. Why can't she and her husband go look for something reasonable to do with their lives? All they know about is how to produce children. When I talk and they'll tell me it is only God that gives children. That God that gave them those children, did he give them the equivalent source of income, different source of income to sustain the children. Huh? When she wants money, she'll run to this place. But what will you have sent? Eh? If not for the way I was stopping you from lavishing your money on your village people, would you have been able to raise this building? They would have all gathered to call you a failure. And I saw, okay, eh, 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 you know, bring go, bring go, and get down. I want to turn your life. Evelyn, your do you realize that it's my sister, Uchechi, that we are talking about here? Mm. Yes, originally I asked her to wait. So mm -hmm. what do you want me to do now? To tell her to go? Go and tell her to go, that you don't have money, that you're a pensioner. Go now! What am I even saying? When you get there, I'll tell her that Evelyn said. Give her this woman. Tell her to give you some time. Eh? Yes, even if it's God, God will allow you to pray, pray, kabash, kabash, kabash. He will see your heart, see your faith in him before he will give you the money or give you whatever thing you are asking him for. Evelyn, this is 2,000. Is it you not know much? Remove 2,000 from 20,000. Will it be up to 20,000 again? I even tried though. I tried. 
I'm saving you. You don't know. Can I still tell her to come some other time? When? When will have they paid your, your pension for the month? When will she come? Go and tell her this is what you can afford. Evelyn. Evelyn, what? I'm saving you. I'm just trying to be a good wife to you. If you don't know. If you finish spending the money, when I ask for money for food, you tell me I gave it to my sister. Yes. She should be the one to be taking care of you by now because you're old and retired. Evelyn, there is tomorrow. Which tomorrow? There is tomorrow. What are talking about is today. Yeah. Me and make her want to see more hands, more brain. Go, get away. It is okay, Your Majesty. I go. Huh. Yes, Your Majesty. I'm making it look as if I'm a bad person. Now go there and tell her, my wife. One man for a ton of bubble. The hour. Always stupid. <laughs> Brother, this is only 2,000 naira. Brother. JG, that is what I have for now. I might do better later. Okay? Brother, did you say later? Brother, please now, 2,000 naira cannot do anything. Please, be cool. Are you trying to be ungrateful? Like I said, I will do better. Later. Just go for now. That is all I have in the house for now. No. And I don't want to do anything for you. can see I'm a very busy man. I have other things to attend to. Please, you may leave now. Okay? All you see there is all this white, white. Hey, this one is a uh, Ebuka. Uh, 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 um, uh, uh, Echetaka's son. That is him. His name is Ebuka. Oh, it's a pleasure. <laughs> oh, the pleasure is all mine. <laughs> but I don't think we've met. Oh, no, we have not met before. But I must say, you're more beautiful than I expected. <laughs> uh, London is really, really good on you. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm so glad to have you back. <laughs> Thank you. Mother, mm -hmm. I've missed home. Sister, welcome. Sister, <laughs> I hope you brought enough goodies. Come on. My love. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Lord, is this you? This is me. This is me. Good to have you back. Good to have you back. I've missed you. 
Ja, og gang! Og gang! Og gang! Og gang! Og gang! Og gang! I'm sorry. I, I, out of excitement, I forgot you're here. Uh, because so, you're mad. Mama, no. So somebody told me, all the way is back. So I had to what? take off my boot and drop my bicycle. I started running here. <laughs> I started running. I started running. <laughs> Baby. I miss you. Look at you. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Check out. No, 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 no. We will check the car first. I'll give you your own. Come back. Is this your car? Yes. yes. Open, Open the, the car. car. I locked it. I locked it. I don't know. After we we'll come and bring the goodies you came back with. Let's go inside first. No, I have uh, something for him. Open no, the after he should come back after. Now we we'll sort it and give him. Adani, the let's go inside. Let's go. Let's Mama, go. Right. Let's yes. Let's go inside. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Adani, let's go. Mama, it's wait. me. I know it's you now. You don't know. Five years is a long time. Five years, class has happened. Five years, uh, maturity has come. Uh, uh, so uh, you are uh, no longer in that class. Evelyn. Let's go inside. We go inside. Please, 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 please. I am happy. Come on. Olam. My love. You kept the bead. Yes, I kept the bead. It was the only thing that kept me closer to you. Leko bi mu chide olamo eh I love you from my heart olamo eh Enye mgo bi mo oni mo eh I love you from my heart obi mo eh Aforonge na nya nke mo eh Bikara polamo To be together. What you did before that. Our love is forever stronger. We are made to be together. Our love is forever stronger. I love you from my heart, Olamo. Together, our love is forever stronger. We are made to be together. Our love is forever stronger. Leko bi mu chide olamo e 
I love you from my heart. Should have done this thing for me. <laughs> My security man, the driver, all the boys. Mama, <laughs> Mama, I'm still one of your boys. Uh, allow me to do the job. You are not a laborer, <laughs> you are part of the family. Eh? <laughs> allow them to do it. All right? <laughs> See why Oledo talks about you all the time. She talks so good about you. How good a husband you're going to be. Uh. Yes. Ah. And I'm grateful for everything you do for us around this house. Thank you, Mama. Thank and, but you Mama, so you don't have to thank me, eh? Yeah. Yeah. And because I, I'm doing the job of uh, your future son-in-law. I know. And you're going to be a great son-in-law. God you, bless Mama. you. Thank you, Mama. <laughs> Mama, hmm? where is she? It's all Yeah. She's inside. Please call her for me. Okay. Let me quickly put food for you two to eat, okay? Yeah. Let me call. Yes. Okay. I need to say thank you for the good job. Okay. <laughs> Mama, don't kill yourself. Uh, Mama, tell her I'm waiting for her. Oh, okay. Olido. Obim. I want to tell you something. What is it? <laughs> what is it? I, I want to thank you for coming into my life. Since you came into my life, I've been a happy man. I can't thank you enough. Obim. Huh? I also want to thank you for being the man of my dreams. You didn't disappoint me at all. <laughs> I'm very happy. The moments we shared together will remain priceless. I'm going to miss it. Uh, and I'm going to miss you. Olido. This is the second time you're using that word, miss. Uh, are you leaving me? Are you going somewhere? Obi, I... I I passed the scholarship examination. Ah, scholarship. Congratulations, you should be happy. 
that means that I will be leaving for London. Huh? London? Oh, lady, you're leaving me? No, 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 my love. I, I, I'm not leaving you. I mean, not forever. I'm just going to study. Once I'm done, I'll come back. Listen, I, I've been looking for the right time to tell you this because I know how you will react. But believe me, my love, it's for the best. Believe me. Olendo, oh, I'm scared. You're, you're leaving me. I'm not going to leave you. And you don't have to be scared. I am yours forever. Nothing can change that. I promise. I'll come back for you as soon as I'm done with my studies. It's a promise. I love you. Yes. You're leaving me? Wait for me. Wait, wait for me, wait for me. Where are you going to? Wait. Where where are you going to? Obim, what is it? What? This hand bead was given to me by my grandmother. She wanted to give it to the woman I'll marry, but unfortunately she's not here to do that because she's dead. I wish I met her. You have spoken so much about her. Obim, I was very, very close to my grandmother. We were both very connected. When my father died, she was heartbroken. Her life never remained the same until she died. Please, hold on to this handbeat for me. Let it be in your possession. Remember me with it. Don't forget about me. Never. I will never forget you, my love. Promise me. I promise. You promise? I love you. I love you too. I have to go now. I sneaked out from the house. Uh, okay. Let me see you off. Okay. <laughs> okay. I tried calling you several times, but Hello. all to no avail. I thought I had lost you. I came back for you. I kept my promise. Yeah. Listen, I'm done with my studies. Yeah. I have a thriving business in the city. Yeah. I am back for you. You came back for me? Yes. You came back for yes, me? Baby. Yeah? Yes, baby. Yes, <laughs> baby. <laughs> no, I can't go to your house. Ah, let me go to my sister. Ah, let's go. I'm not going to go. Welcome, welcome. Hey, hey, hey. It's changed. So go home. Let her come back. Mama, it's me. I know it's you. Evelyn. Mama, eh? let's go. Evelyn. Please, my daughter just came back. Well, I know. Must you exhibit this lucidity at every point in time? 
It calls for celebration, and I want to celebrate. Did My I daughter's me? coming back. Go to your house. Please, uh, young man, go please, for now, now, just go. Leave this mad people. Look at him, all muscles. No brain. I'm a hobby. Oh. I'm a hobby. My daughter, please, Whoa. let's go and celebrate. I will settle this later, okay? Oh. I'm a hobby. <laughs> Man, I just want to be happy, yo. I'm a hobby. Oh, my God. Did we stop it? Sadist. You cannot allow us to do exercise our now. franchise. You just came back now, eh? Don't worry, you later, later, enjoy. later, later, later. It's okay, my daughter. Don't worry, I'm your father, I will fix it. Okay. I'm the brother. Sister, please, everybody should leave her alone. Yes. <laughs> and then we go, go, Young man, go, go. Please come back later, okay? I don't want anything to frustrate my happiness. Just go inside. So my daughter, so come. 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 Come now, come. 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 Let's go in. It calls for celebration. Yes. What is the problem? Why is your face like this? Nothing. No. You know you are all I have. And I am all you have. We are supposed to confide in each other. So tell me, what is the problem? What happened? Mama, it's all you do. The girl you want to marry? Mm. What about her? She's finally back from overseas. I went there to see her. Her mother asked me to leave. Anyway, I am not surprised. That is women for you. Mama, I don't understand. I, I, I used to think her mother liked me. I don't even know her plans. I don't know their plans. I saw a man there with a car. Hmm. I don't blame her. It's obvious they have found a rich tutor for their daughter. Yes. Mama, does that mean I've been wasting my time? I did not say that. But you mentioned that you saw a man with a car a young man for that matter, in their house. Her, most parents want a rich son-in-law or suitor for their daughter. But Mama, I'm shocked. I'm very disappointed. And I, 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 know, I know it's because I'm still in this village. Eh? But, but God knows I've been, I've been doing everything to survive. Is it my fault? My son. You are a strong, hard-working young man. I don't want you to relent. God knows your heart's desires. And I'm sure he will make it to come to pass. It will only take time. 
but it must surely come to pass. Just keep hope alive. Hmm? God will surely bless you. Oledo, my daughter. This is Ebuka. Mazi Echieteka's son. He works in Abuja. And he came all the way to search for a wife. Uh, he has been coming here to seek for your hand in marriage. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, Ebuka here has been showering us with uh, lots of love. Yeah. Ever since he stepped his feet into this family. He has been providing for us if you will have asked him nothing. That means he's warming himself to make sure he's a part of this family. Oh, I'm sorry yes. I've not been able to tell you all this while. You know this kind of thing, you don't say it on the phone, you say it's one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, Mama, Papa, thank you very much. Well, Ola, like your parents said, my name is Ebuka. I'm a chemical engineer. Um, I work in a very big company based in Abuja. I've been looking for a wife to marry from this village. It has been my desire. And of all the girls in this village, I chose you. Not because you're the most beautiful. You're very beautiful, by the way, don't get me wrong. But it shows that you're reserved. You're calm, you're pure in heart. You possess so many qualities that no man would think twice before making you his wife. I'm just very privileged to have come here early enough to show my willingness to marry you. I see. So, you came to my parents seeking my hands in marriage. In my absence. <laughs> Ebuka, you're a graduate. You said you're a graduate of uh, chemical engineering, right? Yeah. I expect you to do better. Okay. I mean, how can you come seeking for my hand in marriage without meeting me, knowing me? I mean, I'm disappointed. Well, well um, I understand what you're saying. But I collected your number from your mother, right? Some time ago. And I called you, if you could remember, and you ended the call even before I could introduce myself. So I made a move, you know. That is because I don't take calls from strangers. Listen, Ebuka, long story short, I have a man in my life. The one you saw me hugging earlier. He's the love of my life. A little. And you can say something. Oh, no. Don't get me wrong. You didn't do anything bad coming here to seek for somebody's hand in marriage. Just that, um... Ah, definitely not this hand. <laughs> Excuse me. Please, it's, it's your you want to hear me. Oh, I, 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 she will come around. She just came back. So we need to sit her down and talk to her well. You know, child love is no love. They were friends when they were child, uh, children. They've grown now. So they need to make progress. So I know she will definitely be your wife. They just give her a little time. All right? You still have feelings for that boy, eh? After spending how many years abroad, 
I don't, don't tell me that you came back again to, to, to start looking for, for that, that nuisance. That, that village pauper, eh? This boy is nowhere near your class anymore now. Eh? Oledo, that boy is no longer in the same class with you. Uh, eh? Listen, I will, this thing he did today, I will personally go to his father's house to warn them not allow that boy step his foot into this compound again. Listen, you developed yourself. He refused to develop himself. All he does is to sell broom. Nah. Broom or bags. Eh? A more rubber. Hi. I don't get it, Mama. A few years ago, you were the one supporting their relationship. You always encouraged them to keep on loving themselves. Why the sudden change? God bless you, my brother. I mean, Onyeka is the love of my life. He's the love of my life. What has he done to both of you? Love, Wabonini. Shoe has size. Uh -uh. Every shoe, everybody will look for his shoe size. Onyeka is no longer in the same class with you. He's no longer your shoe size. Mama, it's in my place to make that decision. I'm old enough to know what I want. You've not been around. I, I am here now to decide better for you. Eh? Adane, try to understand us. Eh? We want your happiness, but there is no way you can go down to that boy's level anymore. You are somewhere higher now. Eh? He's no longer your class. Listen, just listen to your other brother. He witnesses in two, in two mouths. He's as established as the truth. We cannot deceive you. I cannot deceive you. I'm your mother. But why are you not saying anything? What do you want me to say? Oledo is matured enough to take her decisions. Uh -huh. Yes. Well, if you ask me, I would rather say Ebuka is more refined and educated. Is he? Ebuka is her level. Listen, Onyeka's only problem is poverty. And I'm back. I have thriving business in the city. I have all it takes. I have all the money to, to make him the man of my dreams. So, that settles it. So you will now marry Onyeka, clean him up, pay his groom price. Sorry, Is that what you want? <sighs> Mama, I didn't say that. I only said I would use my money to clean him up. Hey! Oh, no, 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 no. London uh, 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 style. Okay, now, nah, why? Instead of okay, why? Why? I'm not saying okay. I'm not okay, no, no, no. Ma Can you at least, this your silence is driving me crazy, honestly. Mama. Evelyn, what do you actually want me to say? Like I said, she's matured enough to take her decisions. As a man of the family, say something reasonable. Will you shut up? <laughs> oh, it's also him, I shut up. People go Mama. Mama, don't you think you are stressing, sister? If you talk to me again, I'll slap her. Honestly, are you mad? I'll slap you. Not you. Not are you mad? <laughs> I don't want, I don't want that now. The good dog I think you should inform your uncles. 
and get them to follow you to their house in order to make the proposal formal. Mama, you have a point. But I don't have money for that now. The most important thing now is, are you ready? If you are ready, money would not be an issue. Mama? I've been ready since five years ago. If you are sure you are ready, then do what I asked you to do. Inform your uncles. Emma, you're not paying attention. I said I don't have money. Hmm? It involves money, but I don't have money. I heard you very well. I saved some money, which I can assist you with. Mama? Hmm? Keep your money. You have a lot of things to do with it. Huh? Don't worry, I'll work hard so I can raise some money for myself. Hmm? My son. That money will be useless to me if I cannot assist you with it. It's one of my reasons for saving it. Remember that your happiness is the most important thing to me. I am only happy when you are happy. So don't reject the money. Accept it. Thank you, Mama. Thank you. It's okay. Could you check up with Jima? None of your business. It is my business. I don't know where you are going. It's my business. I am your elder brother. Don't forget. And you know that this boy in question is very small. Remember, this boy is beneath your level. This boy not reach you anywhere now. Is it because he's fair in complexion? You know, we're going to another. Day. What is it now? Just go inside the house. Stop. Mm. Bye bye. Please don't stay too long, okay? You know I'm, I'm going to miss you. I won't. Thank you very much. I love you, brother. Love you too. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It... Bien, Amobi. Okay? Amobi, what is it? You see, let me tell you something. You better let our sister be. So it has got to the extent of when I give order you to what it. You do have respect eh? for anybody in this house. She can't go sick in her. In her I got this for you. Mama, mm -hmm. this is for you. Me? Yes. Hey! <laughs> Hi! <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you, my You're daughter. Welcome. God bless you for me. Eh? Um, um, let me bring something for you. Let me bring something. <laughs> your, your hair is red. <laughs> it's pink. Pink. It's pink, not oh. red. Let's sit down. Oh, 
man who obey. He shouldn't have allowed her to leave this house. When you know full well who she's going there to meet. Mama, but I tried stopping her. I tried stopping Oledo. Oledo is all grown now. You're still seeing Oledo like the small Oledo that she used to be. That girl is very stubborn here also. Huh? You shut up. No matter how grown she is, she's still my daughter. And your younger sister better wait on her door. You should have stopped her from leaving this house or know exactly where she's going. Why are you her elder brother? Mama, I tried. I tried. I mean, you don't expect me to beat her up because of that. I tried stopping her, but she, she wouldn't listen. And you didn't deem it right that you should tell me? Mama, I, I tried, but she left almost immediately. I'm be, be reporting these kind of things to me on time. Can you hear me if I change it for you? You should be on my side. Mama, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Next time I'll report to you. Even if it's late, but uh, Mama, another very important thing now uh, is this boy they call Chidi. This carrot, this man carrot. Mama, one that boy, me joke of bitch, put that boy on. Oh. He's supporting me, he's supporting our lady now. Can you stop? Why are you listening to that one? Why are you minding him? He thinks he's disappointing me. I'm not knowing where he's disappoint. I used to think he has sense. I'm not no Okpo, complete Okpo. Ocha bala na brain, bala na for no single sense. Every time that boy will be behaving like Papa, eh? Can you shut up? Okay. With the middle of the car, you should have held her down until I come back. Now he's out. Oh. He's out now. If it's me, they will, they will say eh, he has gone out. He has gone to smoke Ibo. Yeah. Can you calm down? We're not talking about you here. We're talking about your sister. You should look out for her. For me. Yes, Mama. Mama, I'm inside. Hola. My mother, she advised me. She said, I should go and see your father with, with my uncles. I think it's time for me to come and ask for your hand in marriage properly. <laughs> That's a brilliant idea. I mean, you should do that as soon as possible because I don't know what my parents are up to. They want to give me out to that uh, Ibuka or whatever he's called. Huh? Olam. Will you allow that to happen? Oh, Bim. How can you even ask me that question? If I can stay close to six years without giving any man a chance, what makes you think that I will allow my parents so pay Buka to take me away from you? My love. Hmm? My body and soul yearns for you. And only you. <laughs> Yeah. In that case, eh? Expect me in your house tomorrow morning. Eh? In fact, before 12, I'll be coming with my uncles to see your father. Eh? I can't wait. I love you. I love you more. <laughs> Somebody will have a daughter. You not look look into the house and know what is happening to the girl. Or you know he's first year father, yeah, father. She's my only daughter. And so, what is that? Is that what fatherhood is all about? Can I have peace in this house? What's the meaning of all this woman? Which peace? What is it? Which peace? Do you know you get on my nerves in this house? Your daughter, your only daughter, is about to make the worst mistake of her life. Just kept calm about it, as if nothing is happening. Ah! <sighs> Evelyn, listen and listen real good. Whatever decision that my daughter takes as regards to her happiness and comfort, she has my endorsement. I support her and all the way. Do you know you are the one giving her this wings to fly so high? Flapping wings, pa, pa. All because she's our only daughter. Only daughter goes to waste if you don't know. So shine your eyes. Oh, 
you know she's the only daughter. And that is exactly the major reason I must make sure that her happiness is assured. Really? Yes, because she's my only daughter. That's your only daughter? Madam, have you, have you been able to ascertain where she has been since morning? Wait, have you How? seen her in this house? How? Is she not home? Oh, you don't even know. Have you seen your life? Your only daughter. Yes, you don't even know whether she's in the house or not. Evelyn, where is my daughter? Oledo has grown so big as to leave her father's house to God knows where without informing anybody in this house. Yet, you support all her choices, whether to die or to leave. But I'm so ashamed of you. I'm so disappointed. Have you but you know what? Let me see her in this house get married to that riffraff. Mwoku Mwunapo. Maybe. Of course, you see. Evelyn, what? At a moment, you can. Nonsense. I visited my brother yesterday. Who? Hmm? Maduka, my brother. I thought you've heard what I've been telling you all this while. Okay, Pico. Calm down. We too. I have told you to stop going to him. He does not care about you. Otunkem, I... Did I, he give you the money that you went to beg from him? Did he? No. You see it. You see it. Now you have brought shame and disgrace to me. You have brought shame and disgrace to me once again. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. 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 Nkem, Nkem, Piko. I was with Onyeka. You were with Onyeka? Who did you inform before leaving this house? Huh? Father, he'll be coming here tomorrow with his people to see you. Wonderful. Mm. That's a good one. Thank you, Father. If Onyeka is your choice, my daughter, you have my total support. <laughs> anytime, any day. Thank you, Father. Come here. You had better go and inform him. Let him not step those snake-like legs into this compound. Yes, I will cut them off. You will do no such thing. You will do no such thing. Maduka, we shall see. We shall see. Thank you, Father. I don't even know why you people derive joy in provoking my mother. Why? And Oledo, do you realize that you're a very big disgrace to this family? No, do you know you are a very big disgrace to this family? In fact, I wish I was the one who traveled abroad for my education and not to say it's senseless to you. You are the one that is a bigger disgrace, you blockhead. I will not have you insult me, Oledo. If I insult you, what will happen? You will try no such thing. What will happen? Eh? What will you do if I insult you? You are insulting your father's first son? You are a good for nothing first son. Me? Yes! Alejandro, you, you, you are insulting me! What do you think you can do? Look at you! We took the same scholarship as a war hard one. Your blockhead could not pass. Why didn't you pass? Why didn't I pass? Oli? Yes! Alejandro, if I descend on you, if I descend on you, you, you will... Try it, I will just lock you up. Look, look at you, big for nothing, all muscles, no brain. What are you doing in my father's house? 
Your mates are getting married, succeeding in their various businesses, but you're here, looking around. Mommy's boy! Mommy's boy! Stupid! You see what you've cost. No, no, you've seen what you've cost! You've given them leverage over me! They now insult me! All of them more, more back here! Eh? Try it. You spend the rest of your miserable life in jail. Fool. Eh? Amor, Amor, let me tell you something. You are not going to try that in any What do you want from sister? Won't you just let her be? Why are you why do you keep bothering her? Why? Let her be! Wait. Wait. You see all those your rubbish? I will settle it now. Really? So it will never happen. Let me tell you something. So okay now. You have grown, eh? Uh, you have grown, eh? Uh, what do you want? You have grown. I'm happy. You have grown. 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 Anger without telling me your whereabouts. Yeah? I needed to clear my head of the anger you cost me. Okay. I am sorry. I am sorry. I was frustrated. I didn't have any other choice. I know it is against your wish that I go to my brother again. But Kim, we need help. We need help, I agree. But not from a man like that, your brother, Maduka. Not from him. Kim, my brother Maduka is a very, very good man. I know for, for sure, he's a very, very good man. He helps me with every little thing I ask him. All this whole thing started after he got married to that his wife. Believe me. So you knew all this, yet you went to ask him for money. Hmm? Do you know the kind of insult and humiliation that I got from the wife the last time you went to him to ask him for money? Listen, my wife, I know we don't have enough to take care of our kids, but I vowed with my cheek that I would never, ever ask them for anything. Tell my our children. Our children are no longer going to school. Mm -hmm. I know. But for now, they have to be going to the farm with us. I will continue to hustle and at the same time wait for my chi to look upon me and have pity. Stop going to that man. You are causing my chi each time you go to him to ask him for anything. I have not been a happy man in a long while because I have failed as a man. I have failed in my duty as a husband and as a father. I know my chi will never desert me. My wife. I know I have a lot of things that I'm supposed to do for you, which I am yet to fulfill. But first of all, I want to thank you for your patience that you've had for me so far. But I want you to still exercise more patience for me, please. Because I believe that one day, someday, my chi will have pity on me and smile on both of us. Okay? What are you doing? Father, 
Why can't mother and Amobi give me their support? Why can't they... Why can't they allow me marry the love of my life? What did I do to them? How did I offend them? You've done nothing to them, my daughter. I do not know. Your mother all of a sudden changed to what I do not know. She is no more the woman that I married. But all the same, my daughter, take heart. I am still your father. I'll fix it. Father, please. Please, I don't want Onyeka to be disgraced tomorrow. I want you to welcome him with all your heart. He's the man that I love. He's the one that makes me happy. He's the love of my life, please. <laughs> my daughter, as far as I, your father, is concerned, nothing of such will happen. Not when I'm still alive. You love Onyeka, yes. don't you? Yes, father. And I will do everything humanly possible to make sure you marry the man of your life. I love him too. Thank you, Father. Can you put up a better smile? <laughs> Thank you, Father. Just be a good daughter and I'll fix the rest. Okay? Thank you, Father. Good. <sighs> I will join you later. No, 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 Mama. If anybody should be sleeping now, it should be you and not me. Go to bed now. I said go to bed. Yeah, but Mama, you... Now. Can you please go? Uh, see, Mama, if it's about... If it's about that one, I can, I can arrange... Nah, I get men. Nah. I can arrange men. I will beat that boy up. Why would he be bothering you like this now? Thank you, but no thanks. I do not need your help. Get inside. Get away! Go inside! I'll go, but me, I'm worried. Though. I said go to bed. Go inside. Madoka, you needed to have seen what the man, this foolish man your daughter wants to settle down with, wore to this place today. The idiot was dressed like a village drunken master. Ay! I've never been as humiliated as I was when that boy showed his face today. But wait, oh. Who could have believed that you, with all your education, you would allow your daughter to settle down with a village wave? Come on. As far as I'm concerned, Evelyn, you are not making any sense at all. What? I'm not making any sense. No problem. See that marriage? It will not happen. Yes! You heard me. What did you just say? Do I have water when I say that? <sighs> There's no water in my mouth. That marriage will not happen. Evelyn, my daughter must marry a man of her choice. Really? And there is absolutely nothing anybody can do about it, including you. Asemge in your face, Kuchala. If that marriage happens, know that my name is not Evelyn. That marriage must hold. And there is nothing, absolutely nothing anybody would do about it. Not even you. Maduka, we shall see. We shall see nothing. I bet you, we shall see. We shall see nothing. No problem. Out of my sight. No problem. Maduka, we shall see. You will irritate me. Oneka! Uncle! Ah, you're always in a hurry! Calm down! No, man, can't oh, look, look at him, he's here now! Oneka! 
udah ada Eh? Udah ada Udah ada What are you wearing? Eh? Nanti jika ini kita, ini kau gaya juga megawai. Eh? Kau kira lepas tayar bang? 